So I'm making this oil for someone and I thought I should share that with you guys because a lot of us can relate to the issues she's having with her hair. And the ingredients I have here is a rich source of essential acids, vitamin, and a host of good stuff, which is a great alternative for someone who's looking to repair damaged hair. If you want to thicken your hair, if you have dull hair, this is a good oil that encourages your hair growth. Hey guys, welcome back to another DIY video. I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. My name is Linda. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. So on this channel, I do a lot of DIY videos for natural hair and all types of hair. So with that being said, I have another great DIY video for you guys today. Without wasting much time, y'all, let's dive right into the video. So the ingredients we're going to be using today to make our hair growth oil is going to be rose hips, rosemary, and bay leaf. If you don't have bay leaves, that's fine. If you have rose hip and then, uh, rosemary, that's perfectly fine. I got these ingredients from um, Amazon. If you're not familiar with rose hip, this is what it looks like. It looks like a seed that's broken to pieces and it's very, very thick. Um, it's thick like hibiscus, um, but it does different things than hibiscus. This is mostly for people who are looking to repair damaged hair. If you just went natural or you just have like perm hair and your hair is extremely damaged, if you want to thicken your hair, rose hip is going to be your friend. It does wonder. You don't have to necessarily make the oil with rose hip. You can either soak in water and just use it as spray and it does wonder. I've been using it for one week and I'll come to you guys with the result later on and then we have rose rosemary you guys already know rosemary um is everybody's favorite there's a lot of studies out there that prove how rosemary can quicken your hair growth taking your hair and repair damaged hair so you guys do not sleep on rosemary if you don't want to make the oil you can again make the spray and just spray your hair with it once a day and you should be fine you should um you should see some great results quicker so what i'm doing here i already washed my rosemary and i'm um, taking it um off the uh leaf i'm taking the leaf little by i mean one by one and i'm putting it in my blender i'm gonna go ahead and just add um the bay leaf again if you don't have bay leaves that's perfectly fine i have the organic bay leaf um i purchased all these things from amazon again you can order this from amazon and it will come the next day or even like the same day um whichever order you place in so i'm going to be using about three bay leaf it's fresh it smells really really good you guys these things are like natural ingredients you cannot go wrong with this um there's nothing wrong with using nat natural ingredient to grow your hair this works wonder at least you know what you're putting in your hair um and then going out and buying something that you're not sure of and i'm going to be using um one eighth cup that's the measurement that i usually use in all my video i'm going to be using one eighth cup of rose hip you guys i love love rose hip i have an oil um that i made like i think years ago of rose hip that's how i fell in love with rose hip hey, i love it it cleans your scalp it does wonder to your scalp you guys it deep conditions your hair like it just makes your hair very very soft if you have you struggling with damaged hair or thin edges make rose hip oil just rose hip oil and you should be perfect fine so what I'm gonna do right now I add three of the 1 8 cup of olive oil to the ingredients in my blender and I blended them together and after blending everything together you guys this is what we have I'm gonna show you guys the consistency of it it looks like it's not a lot of um, oil but it's a lot that's the consistency of it I'm gonna take this this to the stove and let it stay on the stove for about two to three minutes that's it uh, I don't want to kill all the ingredients um, I still want the ingredients to be alive and do what they're supposed to do to my hair or to the client's hair. So this is what I have after um, I took it to the stove. Um, uh, if you see those bubbling things when you have this oil on a stove, if you're not familiar with making your own oil, if you see those bubbling things, it means that your oil is ready. You don't have any more uh, water inside, so you can just take it off and let it sit, let it cool off before you go ahead and strain it. So this is what we have. It smells really, really, really good. The rose hip kind of took over. It smells very, very fresh. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and strain this oil. 
always be careful and remember that you just took this off the stove and it's kind of going to be very very hot so just be aware of that and be very very careful because you can get burned very quick and very fast with this i got burned before so that's why i'm putting that out there so i'm just gonna go ahead and strain this and then this oil is ready to be used you guys again if this is your first time using this anything like this make sure your hair is washed you don't have any residue or any dirt in your hair so you know the effect of the oil on your hair of course i'm gonna go ahead and add the black um rice oil i love this oil i got this from my local beauty supply because my client complained about itchy scalp i'm gonna go ahead and add that edge a dope oil growth this will do wonder to your edges y'all like this is another good one i'm gonna go ahead and add about maybe three drops or four drops and of course i'm gonna go ahead and add peppermint oil peppermint oil does wonder to your scalp if you have you're fighting with dandruff dry scalp try peppermint oil it will, it will solve your issues i always add peppermint oil to all my oil because of that um i don't have dandruff or dry scalp but i just um I just want to keep using it prevention is better than having it and trying to treat it you know what i mean so that's why i always keep it so just grab a bottle transfer your oil into your bottle y'all shake 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 and then the oil is ready to be used again i'll show you guys in a few minutes how i apply this my hair has been washed for three days so it looks kind of dry but now that we're dry so you guys one thing about me whenever i make okay, oil so for a client i tend to use it first for about a week i use it every day for a week like i wash my hair i will have nothing in my hair but that particular oil um so i can see the reaction if this is something that i can give to someone to use if it doesn't work for me i don't see why i should give it to somebody so i tend to use the um the oil myself for a week um the way i will use it and the way i see it um if it's gonna work or not so i can let whoever i'm making the oil for know so that's what i'm doing right now i've been using this oil for exactly uh three days since i washed my hair i've been using it i'm gonna go ahead and use it for about a week and after one week i'm gonna go ahead and let um because i made two bottles i have one other bottle that i'm gonna give her so i'm gonna use it and then i'll let her know uh if i like it how she should use it and see the um the result that she wants i've used rope hip oil before you guys love it love it love it love it i tend to focus on my end um because my ends are dry because of the if you have color in your hair um this is what you're gonna be dealing with dry ends all the time so i tend to focus on my ends a lot of times even if like i don't take care of my scalp my ends i always do take care of my end apply a lot of oil on my on um, the end of my hair so it doesn't get dry and break off because that's that's the oldest part of the hair also that's the grandma of the hair so we tend to like kind of forget about it but they need care more care than anything else so as you guys can see i'm applying a lot of oil um at the end of uh my hair to keep it moisturized uh to keep it like literally just keep it very very um healthy that's pretty much what i'm doing and after that i'm gonna focus on my scalp the scalps are like very 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 important too if your scalps aren't doing well then you have no hair growth coming at all so i'm gonna go ahead and focus on the scalp after i apply this oil on my scalp i'm gonna go ahead and massage my scalp very 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 well take your time you know take your time to take care of your scalp um of course we're gonna go ahead and focus on the edge as well my edges are back you guys like it's back and i'm loving it i'm gonna go ahead and massage my edges as well massage my scalp very very well and just that's about it you guys that's all i do and that's what um i'm gonna be telling um uh, my client to do with this oil focus on your scalp uh, because you have having breakage focus on the end of the hair take good care of your scalp as well and then i think that's about it but this is it you guys this is it this is all i do uh with my, all my oil and this is what i tell people that i make oil for to do so you guys after i massage my scalp with this oil i'm just gonna go ahead and comb my hair like not too rough just put my hair back in a bun and just you know go about my day and that's it this is it this is the end of this video you guys i really 
really really really appreciate you guys the love you guys are showing me some of you guys you've been with me since day one i do remember you guys and i thank you guys so 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 much for the love and the support you know thank god for you guys life i'll see you guys again in my next video take care until next time if you guys have any question at all please don't be shy leave it under the comment section and please don't forget to share this video with families and friends like and subscribe to this channel i'll have more of this content coming your way but until next time take care and i love you guys bye bye